my tiny, tiny studio apartment. Um, so I guess we'll get started in the living room. Shout out to Lexi, my cousin. Thank you for filming this for me. Um, so this is where I hang out and watch TV with my dog who is not wanting to hang out with me right now. Um, this is like the smallest couch basically that I could find. I got this on Wayfair and um, I carried it in by myself and put it together by myself. I'm proud of myself for that. <laughs> and it's not the comfiest thing in the world, but it's good for like hanging out for like an hour or movie or something. And this little thingy moves, um, which makes it nice. Um, you know, if you want to make it more like a bed shape and then put it right here and then chill out. Um, but yeah, so this is my living room area, which is right next to my bed. <laughs> so if I get uncomfortable there, I just go over here. Um, and the TV is like right there, so it's really easy to watch. This is my dog Bella, who usually watches stuff with me. <laughs> um, she's being really sweet right now, and usually she's super energetic, so we're grateful for that. Um, anyways, this is my bed. It's a queen size, and this is probably the biggest that I could get in here. Um, and I've got my piano at the end of the bed because I'm a teacher, and when we're in virtual land, I just put my little like desk right here and I put my laptop on it and then I have that screen over there that um, I put right behind me and that's where I have been teaching since um, we were virtual but we just went back to hybrid so I'm not doing that anymore but who knows if we'll be back so I'm leaving all that there for right now but typically that's not my apartment. Um, my sister actually made this macrame for me. She has a macrame business and um, it's not leave handmade stuff <laughs> and her and her husband make like shelves and stuff and this triangle shelf over here he actually made too which some of my coolest stuff they made and this plant hanger too so shout out to them for all my decor because without them my apartment would probably be pretty boring um all right so the best thing that i like about this apartment is that they have well this was here when i got here these shelves um, which make it nice to just like have stuff on. I obviously still have all of my fall pumpkins out everywhere, um, but candles and like pictures of people and stuff, it's nice to have somewhere to store all of that because it is such a tiny space. So if you're in a studio, definitely utilize your wall space. Um, this is my TV, obviously. I just have it on top of my dresser um, with some plants and everything. And this is Bella's little corner over here. Um, call this her room and this is where she goes either sometimes when I leave I put her in here but most of the time I've been leaving her out because she's like a year old now so we're trying it she's not good all the time but fingers crossed one day we'll get there <laughs> all right so this is my entrance you walk in um, from I have a little front porch which I'll take you to in a second but this is where you walk in from I love this light that's up here I think it's really cool I, I don't know how old it is but it's very art deco um, and then I just have a mirror here that is from my great-grandfather um, so it's really old and this is Bella's gate obviously there's nowhere to really put that anywhere um, anyways there's her bowls and stuff I keep all of her food over here especially like when I leave um, if I keep her in this front area and then this is where all of my purses and stuff go I just hang them up and then I've got my keys and all of that because in the morning I'm always crazy and I need to grab stuff and get out the door so it's all right here and then this is my bathroom it is so super tiny um, but it gets the job done I guess I have so much stuff crammed back here I'm not even gonna open it up because it's embarrassing honestly but this is my shower super small um, I added this wood slat thing in it not that long ago and that has made a really big difference in just like making it more enjoyable to take a shower I guess in a small space and then I also obviously have like the shower caddy thing and then I have um, this I got on Amazon just to add more storage space into the tiny shower so yeah, and I think the shower curtains from Target, I got this sign at TJ Maxx, um, and then I have a shelf over here that's full of clutter, but you know, you have to have somewhere to store stuff <laughs> in a tiny place. Um, all right, and then next we'll go to the kitchen, which is only three steps away from where you go to the bathroom. Isn't that great? <laughs> so this is my kitchen. I have like no storage in here either, and as you can see, it's really tiny. Um, I'm lucky that I am short because, you know, otherwise, 
this place would not work for me. But anyways, I have um, a pot rack. I got this from Ikea, and this has made a really big difference in storage. Um, and then I got this knife rack as well. Just having stuff on the wall frees up a lot of space in the cabinets because I do like to cook a lot. That's like a recent thing. <laughs> um, but it really makes it easier for me to store all the things that I need. Um, I got this, I guess it's a cake stand, I'm not sure, but I got this I think at Ross or TJ Maxx, and this also makes a big difference just to be able to have extra space, like if you're cooking and stuff, I can turn this and have like this whole area, which I have this counter, this counter, and this counter, so there's not a lot. <laughs> but there's a lot of storage with these cabinets, um, and I got my coffee bar over here. Um, I've got my Keurig, and then I have the Nespresso, and I like to use both of those. Um, and then all my mugs are up here, and yeah, that's pretty much the kitchen. And then the dining room is right next to it. Here's my little table. My sister, fun fact, actually got this table. She used to live in New York City, and she found this table on the street and she <laughs> carried it home with her on the subway. And it used to be in her apartment in New York, but um, when I got it, I painted it, and now it's mine. And I've had it for like three years, I think is how long I've lived here. And I got these stools at TJ Maxx to go with it, but I really like it, I think it's really functional, and if you need to do work and stuff, it's nice to just like have a table to do it on, even though it's very tiny. Um, because I don't have a lot of storage I in my kitchen, I bought this shelving thing that's basically like my pantry. Um, I keep like snack food and stuff here. And then I've got like different like baking stuff in here. I've got um, different utensils and like cookware stuff all kind of down here. And then same up here, different cookware stuff that doesn't fit um, anywhere else. So have that all in here. And moving the microwave, this used to be on one of my counters over there and there was literally no room to cook. So this made a big difference just to move this over here because I use the microwave a lot. And I've got my big mirror right here because it's right next to my closet, which is over here. And it is jam packed right now because I had to clean my apartment to film this video. So it's full of the stuff that was out. So I don't know if I'll show it to you, maybe I will. Here's, here's what reality is like <laughs> in my closet right now. I promise it's all like organized somewhat, but right now, obviously my cousin's staying with me, so all of the luggage and stuff is here, and this is all stuff I have to put away, so we're just gonna close that. It makes us feel better to not have to look at it. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go, I guess, yeah, the last thing um, is my porch, so let's go see that. Too. I got this um, this year and I'm obsessed with it and I don't want to take it down. I want to just take off the pumpkins and like leave it up all the time. <laughs> all right, so this is my porch. It's really cute at night. Um, I have these lights I got on Amazon and they're solar powered. My plant is like dead, so it's fall. <laughs> That's what happens, I guess. Um, but I got this little bistro set, I think on walmart.com, and it's been so nice in the summer just to um, eat out here, especially in like quarantine, and the weather's still nice here sometimes um, midday. It's okay, Bella. And so sometimes I come out here to hang out and eat too. And then over here, I've got my little herb garden. So I've got some rosemary, and I've got mint, and I've got parsley. Um, and there's, oh, basil is right here, but basil is not doing so hot. <laughs> I need to bring it inside because it's starting to get really cold. But this is actually a coat rack that I got from the alley <laughs> behind my house. <laughs> and I just re, you know, purposed it to use it as um, a plant hanger. I used to have another plant on here, but unfortunately she didn't make it. She's, you know, she didn't survive. This one's hanging on. I don't know if I should bring her inside or what. I'm good with the indoor plants, the outdoor ones, as you can see, not doing so hot. And then this is my recycling bin. And yeah, that's it. This is my apartment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.